aspire everybody. That's my first lesson, is once you actually learn how to get your voice out, then you will be able to start creating an opinion. You become better than everybody else you used to know. That is my very first lesson here, as I sit here, sulking up the sunset. But I wanted to start this video by saying there's always power in creation. And that is almost my catchphrase at this moment. But it means a lot. It means a lot. It's kind of like subjective, but it always kind of means a lot. There's always power in creation. There's always infinite knowledge in everybody's heads. Ready to sprout. You just need to learn how to start sprouting what you know. Because eventually you will be ready. And it, you will be tested for this knowledge. And my opinion is I want you all to go out and spread this knowledge. I want you to go out and thank your master, your guru. And when I say master, I mean someone who taught you guru, who taught you philosophy, who taught you to live life. The master teachers. just They're the masters of the universe in a sense because they're the ones that teach the young a whole bunch of older knowledge. That's why they call it a guru, a teacher. And that's why they have teachers in schools, is because there is a master. And there's the student. That's the rule of two. If you ever pay attention to Star Wars, the rule of two is one's a teacher, one's a, one's a student. Same thing here. So, yeah, you always got to understand that everybody has a personal teacher to teach them down the lines of whatever paradigms they truly want and they will fully understand it they will fully grip hold of it and understand yes this is you have to get better by the day everything that you do will always slowly be worked up upon to master your personal self have strength have strength in everything that you believe in that is what gives every single human being their own personal power upon the will of this earth. Understand their very role in the power of this earth. In order to gain, have a sense of grounding on this earth, you will need to understand the human ideology of change. Understanding the human ideology of change means that, basically, nobody has... Uh, a word to say to you. Everybody is always going to look out for everybody. Everybody is here on this planet for a very specific reason. Everybody's always going to be one step further than you. Because you know why? You're special. You are the new one in this world. And you are starting to become solid, a human figure for everybody to look up to, and everybody wants you to know that you are amazing. Every single human living being is made out of the same elements, made out of the same compounds, and made out of the same dust as everybody else, and nothing can ever change who you truly are in the gift of everybody. The world will always stay the same too. There will always be people, there will always be sheep, there will always be uh, people that aspire, there will always be people that look up to young gurus, older gurus, want to learn uh, Daoism, mantra, stuff like that, or they want to learn how to fish. It depends on the individual that wants to learn to teach. And my will is to say, you all have the right, you all have the choice to be able to teach. Teach other individuals to fish, learn mantras, take care of themselves, clean toilets, do the dishes, everything you can think of, because that is what gives you power. What everybody has is individual power. Everybody's knowledge is power 
Everybody's understanding of philosophy is power. Everybody who wants to go out and further themselves out in the world and join one with the universe, multiverse, or whatever thing you wish to acquire into this life, then you are nothing more than a perfect individual because you are stunning. And you will need to learn how to teach people masters of this universe. There are people of them that are masters of the universe and some people are willing to to pass on their knowledge. Some people are almost ready to. Some people are not ready. Some people are picking up, picking it up for the first time and understanding that there's more to life than bullshit. Because that's what it is. A whole bunch of it is bullshit. Have power in yourself. That's the first thing you gotta know in this whole world is have power ultimately in yourself. Everybody who decides to watch this, you gotta know that there are many opportunities opening up for you to open up everything about you as a human being. So, always take note of this and always thank the teachers. Always thank the teachers for everything. And that's what they will do. They will eventually thank the teachers. And understanding that the human mind is far more potent than everybody else wants you to believe is always another first step because you have the key to the rest of the universe you just don't know it yet and that is why I'm leaving this message to you to, to anybody who decides to watch this you have a master key ready to open up and become the ultimate power the ultimate power to open up to the rest of the universe synchronicity magical numbers magical t tarot reading fortune telling stuff like that that's always the first step it's always the first step and always mastering how to you know do laundry do dishes basic stuff to take care of yourself because that gives you structure as a human being and that is the very first step is always giving yourself structure as a human being and once you learn that step, you will become a better master than everybody else. Because nobody else will understand you. And the fact that nobody else will understand you makes you stronger. That's what it really does. It makes you stronger, and it doesn't make you weak. Having strength in being an individual in this world, that is what gives everybody their power. And it's the power to will. Now, if you actually study psychology a little bit, you'll under you understand that the human will is the will to cause action. The will to cause action, which leads to reaction. And it's a very, very, very important step to learn if you want to be able to master yourself. Peace. Have a blessed day. Thank your master. Always go out and thank your personal guru for being able to teach you certain things in life. Because that's what matters. You can't go around like a little kid. Wannabe. You can't be a wannabe when you can be successful. Successful. You can be powerful. And you can become your own guru or your own teacher in many different things. And that is what matters. That is what, what happens. Always grow your potential. Always grow like a seed ready to grow like a desert weed.